All right. Go ahead and I'm going to have you actually get started by lying down on your back. So just a little bit of a shorter session for today. So I'll have a little bit of a short session to upload. Yeah, if you need to take any movements, twists, that might feel good. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and then maybe take a long body stretch. Reach your arms over your head, point your toes forward, feel the fronts of your hips, your belly stretch, even the, your quads all the way down to your toes. Take one big breath in right here, fill all the way up, expand through the front. And then as you exhale, hug your knees into your chest. So really use the power of your exhale to draw everything in. So often in yoga, we use the inhales to expand or stand up or to lengthen. And then the exhales we use to draw in, fold, strengthen. So we can really use the power of the breath to move our body in a way that creates space but also strength in between. Now split your knees just a little bit wider, so about armpit width distance apart, but keep the back of your head on the ground. Awesome, feel your low back start to press into the earth. And if it feels good because it's early, maybe take a little rock side to side, massaging your low back, but only if that feels good. Sometimes that doesn't feel so wonderful right away. And sometimes it's exactly what you need. I want you to listen to your body as always. Maybe you just listen a little bit more. And then hug your knees back into your chest, give them a little squeeze. And I want you to drop your feet about hips with distance apart on the ground. And take your arms like goalposts. And I want you to feel your shoulder blades start to just squeeze slightly together underneath you as you feel your chest expand here. Now your fingers spread nice and wide and feel the backs of your hands press down into the ground. That might like work your shoulders. It might feel really full of ease. And take one more big breath in. Maybe even open up your mouth, clear it out. And start to reach your arms down along your sides. Notice how that changes the sensation in your shoulders, but your arms will go long and your palms will flip down. Now keep your toes, all 10 toes pointing forward, even with your knees bent. Your feet will firmly plant. And I want you to use your inhale to lift your seat up. And it doesn't have to be as high as it goes. I just want it to be as high so you can start to engage your glutes to protect that lift in a slight back bend. Awesome, now take one more big breath in right here. Maybe just lift your hips like a tiny little millimeter. Feel the glutes engage. Now as you exhale, slowly drop your seat back down onto the ground. See if you can create space in your neck. I want you to do that two more times, but use your inhale to rise. Find that tension at the top create space through the front, and then exhale to slowly lower back down. Maybe on this last one, you feel the back of your legs engage. Inhale, lift up, and then exhale, lower down. So nice. Now, inhale to lift up, and then I want you to stay. So see if you're crunching in your low back. If you are, I want you to drop your hips a little bit lower. Yeah, think of an incline from your knees down to your shoulders, being one line. Take a full breath in to stay. Squeeze the glutes as you exhale. And then lower all the way down to the earth. Now wiggle walk your feet just a little bit wider, your mat with distance. And then knock your knees together. I want you to take your hands right above your hip creases right to your thighs and press your hands into your thighs. And then almost feel that space in your low back, your sacrum. 
as you press just a little bit more. Yeah, maybe even think about reaching your ribs away from your hips. Lengthen the sides. Nice. Now, split your knees. Heel toe your feet back in line with your hips. We're going to do a little bit more work, but in the belly to kind of like neutralize after a little bit of back bend work. So stack your knees right on top of your hips and let your shins come parallel to the ground. So think 90 degree angles with your legs. Yeah, you're going to pick your knees up and let them stack right on top of your hips. And then you press your hands into your thighs. So you're still on the ground, but your shins are parallel to the ground. Yeah, press into your thighs. See if you can press your thighs back into your hands. And then I want you to create that tension there and breathe for three, two, one. And then find a long body stretch. Use your inhale, pull everything apart. Arms overhead, point your toes forward. And then use your exhale to hug your knees back into your chest. Squeeze them in. Now this time, if it feels okay, a little rock front to back, front to back, front to back. You'll cross your shins at the top, bring your hands down, your hands and your knees. Feel the tops of your feet press down, your fingers spread wide. Use your inhale to lift your heart, maybe lift your tail. And then exhale to find that strength by pressing down through your hands and round your back, drop your chin to your chest, feel your belly engage. Do that one more time, inhale to create space, that expansion. And then use your exhale to find the strength, curl everything in. Now come back to neutral. And then we're gonna think about our middle being our powerhouse. Kick your right leg behind you, let it flow. And send your left hand forward. Take a full breath in, you find that expansion. And then a breath out to tap left elbow, right knee together. One more like that, inhale, pull it apart. Use the exhale to draw it in, create that strength. Now pull it apart as you breathe in. Maybe twirl the ankle, set the left hand down for support. And then set your right knee down next to the left. Find lateral movement side to side. So your right ribs over to the right, left ribs to the left. Come back to center and then right to the other side. Kick the left leg back, reach the right hand forward. Use your breath in to pull it apart. Awesome, and then the exhale, draw it in. Create the strength. One more like that, inhale, pull it apart. And then exhale, draw it in. Nice, now pull it apart. Can you get even longer? Set your right hand down, maybe a roll of the left ankle, wiggle of the toe. Yes, and then set your left knee back down to the ground, tabletop pose. Start to tuck your toes under and float your knees. So it's kind of similar to what we did on our back, right? This isometric movement, we're not really moving, but we're creating tension. Breathe through it as you hover for three, two, one. Send your hips back and up, downward facing dog. Should feel good. Shake out your head, yes and no. Pedal your feet, shake your hips. Awesome, and then take your feet maybe a little wider, walk your hands back towards your feet. Once you're there, halfway lift, take that breath in to reach your heart forward. Use your exhale to bend your knees and fold, bow the head. One more like that, halfway lift, bigger inhale, you lengthen. And then exhale, fold you right back down. And press through your feet, sweep your hands, your arms out and up. And bring your hands together right in front of your heart. Take just one hand to your heart center, one hand to your belly. 
close your eyes. And so I want you to feel this sort of expansion as you breathe in. So can you press your belly into your hand? Your chest rises into the other. And then use your exhale to slightly drive your navel back in space and get empty. Do that two more times. Breathe in to expand, create space. Breathe out, finding strength. One more, inhale to fill up. Breathing out, getting a little bit emptier than before. And then keeping this awareness, start to reach your hands out and up, sweep them up, maybe open the eyes, rise and expand. And then use your exhale to fold forward, but with strength. Halfway lift, breathe in that length. Walk your hands to downward facing dog. Keep spreading the fingers really wide. Take a full round of breath, your last down dog. Breathe in, breathe out. And start to rise up to your toes. Drop your knees down to the ground. One last cat cow, use your inhale to lift your heart. Exhale to drive everything in as you round your upper back and drop your head. I want you to come back to neutral just for a moment and then I want you to sit back towards your heels, but then you'll sit off to the side and just swing your legs around. So just come to seat. And then take your feet to the ground right in front of you, maybe a little bit wider as you bend your knees. And you can take your hands to your shins, to your knees and lift your heart here. Take a full breath in to expand. Maybe open your mouth, clear it out. Now you can stay here, or if you want a little bit more action in the belly, start to slowly tip back, but not rounding. Can you still lift your heart high? Pick your feet up, maybe shins parallel to the ground. Boat pose. Now your knees can be together, or they can be wide. You can keep your hands under your knees for support or maybe reach your hands forward. Maybe your toes don't even lift off the ground. All simple options. Stay here. Can you lift your heart a little higher? Awesome. Breathe for three, two, one. Now cross your right shin in front of your left. You'll sit up nice and tall as you breathe in. Expand. And then use your exhale to hinge at the hips. Reach forward and fold to draw in. Maybe use your inhale again to reach your fingers a little further. Maybe heart follows. And use your exhale to fold. Stay here one more round of breath. Breathe in. Breathe out to fold. And you'll slowly rise back up. And then you guessed it, we have one more boat pose. Start to bend your knees. Grab either underneath or start to reach your hands forward. Float the feet if you wish. Breathe here for three. Soften the face, two. Lengthen the neck, last one. And then cross the left shin in front. Maybe even take your knees a little wider if that feels good. Maybe it means the ankles cross one in front of the other. Reach your hands high. Hinge at the hips and fold forward, dropping the hands wherever they land is okay. Take your inhale to lengthen the spine. Your exhale to fold. And round. Stay here for two rounds of breath. Softening the face, softening the jaw. Now you'll come back up and make sure you have enough space behind you. I want you to just bend the knees, plant the feet about hips with distance apart. Now reach your hands forward, palms face one another. 
I want you to so slowly lower one third of the way down and pause. Lower two thirds of the way down and pause. Lower all the way down to the ground. Now walk your feet maybe a little bit closer in. Take your arms then along your sides. We have two bridge poses, but I want them to be mindful. So press down through your feet, keep the back of your head on the ground, lift your feet up. Gaze straight up towards the ceiling. Maybe start to think about your shoulder blades squeezing together underneath you. Your legs so active here, take one more big inhale. And then use your exhale to lower your hips back down on the ground. Hands can come right above your hip creases here. Press into your thighs just to create that space in the low back. That feels good. Now, one more bridge pose, but a little bit different in the arms. I want you to take your arms down along your sides, but then bend the elbows. Keep your elbows on the ground. So I like to call these like robot arms. So your palms will face one another. Your fingertips point up towards the ceiling. Press down into your feet. Press down into your elbows and then lift your feet. Your last bridge pose, get straight up towards the sky. Don't forget it for three. Can you breathe in and out through your nose? Creating a little more heat, too. One. And then slowly you find the ground. Heel toe your feet maybe a little wider and knock your knees together. We call this constructive rest. Either hands on your thighs to press away or arms like goalposts, similar to what you took before. Close your eyes, take a breath in, and then a breath out to land. Nice and simple, one more like that. Inhale, trace it all the way to the top. Breathe out all the way to the bottom. And split your knees a little bit wider apart and just let both knees fall over to the right. Now, if you want a little bit more of a stretch in the left quad and the left hip, you can heel to that left foot a little wider, but don't force it. If you want a little more length, maybe left arm reaches overhead. And then you'll slowly bring the knees back to your center, back to goalpost arms. And then both knees over to the left. Same idea, maybe right foot walks to a place where you feel sensation. Maybe right hand reaches up and overhead. And you'll come back through center. Pause in neutral just for a moment. Take a full breath in. Clear it all out. And then hug your knees towards your armpits. Hold on to your knees, your shins, maybe a little rock side to side. If you want to grab your feet for happy baby pose, also an option. And then drive your knees back into your chest. Take one more breath in, hug everything in. And then exhale to release. Your legs to the ground, arms down along your sides, palms face up. Close your eyes. Finding your final rest here. We're not too here, too, too long. And see if you can just settle in right away. Use your inhale to lean in. And use your exhale to release.
Right now, this moment, things are working out. We natter away, trying to control shape and form, trying to figure things out. We back off, then come closer. We worry and wonder, but things are working out. Things are working out as beautifully and divinely as possible. The dance of life is taking place in sync with the rhythm of the universe. Everything is working out, moving forward, evolving. You do not have to fight, resist, control, or even understand it. All you need to do is be, be present for your life, your love, and for yourself. You don't have to try to get it all together. You don't have to strive to have it all. You already do have all that you need. How many times have you been through an experience fretting and fearful about the shape things were taking, only to later exclaim, oh, I see now. Things were working out all along. So learn to say and believe that now. Let your mind see what your soul already knows. Things are working out perfectly. And with your next breath in, just feel your belly expand and breathe all the way out, maybe even open up your mouth, letting out that audible sigh. And do that one more time as you start to invite in just a little bit more movement to your fingers, to your toes, maybe to your wrists to your ankles. And in your own time, just start to bend your knees. You'll roll to the side of your choice. And keep your eyes nice and heavy as you just bring yourself up to a seat, sitting up nice and tall. So nice, and then bring your hands together in front of your heart. Or if it felt good to bring one hand to your chest, one hand to your belly, maybe you return there. Take a breath in, feel your chest expand. Again, open your mouth, clear it out. Take your thumb tips to the center of your forehead. Honoring yourself for making this time and to move your body, to breathe, and to be kind to yourself so you can share that kindness in your own way with others. Namaste.